Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, we're gonna unbox the Da Vinci Junior. So XYZ decided to send us a few printers to review this month. So this month we're gonna have the Da Vinci Junior, which we see here, and we're also gonna have the new Da Vinci Pro. So to get things started, we'll start off by unboxing the Da Vinci Junior. Okay, so I've got my knife here. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Now let's crack this box open and we'll see what we can see. All right, so we're in like Flynn. Now, once we open the box, we can see here that we have a USB cable for connectivity to our PC. We have a warranty card to fill out for our warranty, which I believe is a year, but um, just check that out for yourself on the XYZ site. We have our quick start guide. We have our hot end unpluggers. So when you get a jam in your hot end, these things are, you stick that in one end and that'll uh, push out the filament. That's also called um, filament floss, if I am not mistaken, or it could be a different product, but basically you just shove this in your hot end straight up and then that'll jiggle around and get the PLA or ABS or whatever you're printing out of there. You've also got this thing here, which looks like it could be for your Bowden tube, but I have to check the guide and a skewer of some description, but I will refer to the manual. Now we have our Bowden tube here, and our eight gig memory card. So if we check the manual, okay, so it is cleaning wire, those little hand grenade pin looking things. So these things are cleaning wire, and feeding pass cleaning wire, so Bowden tube cleaning, uh, cleaning brush, and feeding path cleaning wire. I don't know what the difference is between this and this, but it's all good. So basically we just need to open this up and get started. So we'll remove this carefully. Now underneath we've got our printer. So it's very well packaged. This box looks like it's just come out of the factory. What's this over here? Oh yeah, power brick, need that. Power cord, also a requirement. And I'm going to flip this over and we'll have a look and we'll see what we got. Okay, and we're in. So we've got rid of all that foam and got rid of the um, packaging. So we're now into the printer itself. Uh, we'll remove some of this film and we'll see what we've got. So we'll take off the bag. Very well packaged. The um, transparent blue panels on the side look kind of cool. Alrighty, so once we've removed all of that, we're in. Now we'll lift up the front lid and we'll see what's inside. So there's a piece of cardboard that might have come dislodged via shipping. Some polystyrene. 
and we'll get rid of this. And the extruder taped in so it won't move in transit. Probably should read the instructions, eh? Or maybe not. All right, so. All right, so now we've got all the foam out. We can see our build plate and our extruder. So we'll get rid of some of this excess cardboard. And that's all in there just to stop everything moving around on your various axes during transit. Our first impressions, it looks like a really good printer. some tape, knife's too far away, more blocks out of the way, more packing, and we're in. Alrighty, so let's fire this bad boy up and we'll see what happens. So we're just hitting the switch. Never turn this on before. Never turn this on. Initializing. Let's try a home. Monitor, info, settings, utilities. So how about we go utilities, home access, yes we are sure. So our Z's moving, Homing axes. And we're homed. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this one up here. We've unboxed the Da Vinci Junior. We've powered it up and we've done our home axis on our Z and X and Y. So in the next video, we're gonna go through loading some filament and do a test print off the SD card. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, please give it a thumbs down and uh, let me know in the comments what your reasoning is for giving me the thumbs down or the thumbs up. I take all of your feedback seriously and I'm doing whatever I can to make this a pleasurable experience for my audience. All right guys, thanks, I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.